Megan Fox is no stranger to the ups and downs, the epic highs and lows of Hollywood. She was under fire back in 2009 after making some comments about Transformers director Michael Bay's directing style, calling him a tyrant and more. She did so very publicly, which prompted three crew members from the Transformers films to come forward to defend Michael, say that Fox was actually the unfriendly problem on set. The crew members did this in an open letter that Bay did not condone, however, many people think that Bay was actually the author to the open letter as the crew members were never named. The reason given for the lack of identities in the letter was so that releasing this wouldn't hurt future career prospects for those three, but I don't know. Either way, Megan and Michael did bury the hatchet and work together again on the 2014 movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had worked together even before Transformers when Fox was an extra in Bad Boys 2. She was put in a bikini and under a waterfall. She was three years younger than 18, by the way. Megan's relationship with Machine Gun Kelly is unconventional to say the least, but Megan's had a few past romances that started unconventionally. Megan has said that she didn't grow up acting or in drama school, so it was only a matter of time before she had her first showmance, and it was with Shia LaBeouf of all people. The two starred in the Transformers series together as love interests and we know for sure dated in real life too, while Megan and her ex-husband were on a break. Shia spoke out about it all first, saying in 2011, look, you're on set for six months with someone who's rooting to be attracted to you and you're rooting to be attracted to them. Megan confirmed their relationship many years later in 2023 on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. She was asked to character their relationship between her and Shia, to which she said, I mean, I would confirm that it was romantic. I love him. I have never really been quiet about that. I love him. Shortly after agreeing, it was a showmance. Megan Fox warned us about herself back in 2011. She had recently found herself in hot water for an insensitive Instagram caption she attached to a photo people had been accusing her of having work done. She decided that the best response to this was a caption reading, oh my god, guys, look at how different I don't look at all. Don't worry, it gets worse. To continue, turns out it was just a shadowy cell phone pic of me looking like a Ukrainian blow up doll, when in reality I look like one of those super expensive silicone dolls you can only get in Japan. Huh? 0 to 100 for real, wow. I did omit the doll's function because I don't think we can say that, but understandably people were not thrilled about the comment due to the conflict happening in Ukraine right now. Megan didn't really apologize and said the caption was supposed to be a joke. Maybe we should have seen this coming though. The last time Megan was accused of getting work done, at Botox specifically, she responded with a Facebook gallery of photos titled Things You Can't Do With Botox. It featured photos of her raising her eyebrows and creating wrinkles. While these two are not at all the same thing, her past behavior makes her present actions make more sense. Megan's ex-husband, Brian Austin Green, should have listened to himself when it comes to how motherly Megan is. In an interview with Details Magazine in 2010, he revealed that Megan is his better half in parenting, she just gets it, it's instinctual for her. So it seems like he was letting us know that Megan was going to be a great mom, not just to Brian's son Cassius, but also to her own children. So why did he think it would be a good idea to come after her and make her seem like an absent mother a decade later in 2020. It all started when Green posted a picture to Instagram of himself and their four-year-old son dressed in their Halloween costumes, with the caption, hope you all had a good Halloween. It seemed innocent enough, but soon Fox commented on the photo saying, why does Journey have to be in this picture? It's not hard to crop them out or choose photos that they aren't in. I had a great Halloween with them yesterday, and yet notice how absent they are from my social media? I know you love your kids, but I I don't know why you can't stop using them to posture via Instagram. You're so intoxicated with feeding the pervasive narrative that I am an absent mother and you are the eternally dedicated dad of the year. You have them half the time, congratulations, you truly are a remarkable human. Why do you need the internet to echo back to you what should have been inexhaustibly evident in the way that your children love you? And that seems like a pretty intense response, but we never truly know what's going on behind closed doors. Plus, as Brian himself said, she's a good mom and probably wants to be seen that way. The post didn't last long, Brian deleted it and reposted it, cropping out the child. Before marrying Megan Fox, Brian was dating Vanessa Marcel, Cassius' mother. Marcel seemed to weigh in here posting her own photo to Instagram of a notes app with text, like I said, the truth always comes out in the end, captioning it, hashtag I'm with you sister hinting that this was in response to Megan's response to Brian's post. I feel like I have one of those detective boards with red string on it right now, okay. Fox's relationship with MGK has made headlines a few times with on and off again 
claims, and her relationship with Brian Austin Green, Shia LaBeouf, David Gallagher, and other past relationships did tell us this would probably happen. It seems like many relationships with Meghan are on and off or just a bit short. But hey, Meghan lives and loves hard, often referring to her partners with romantic words like soulmate and twin flame. Back in February of 2023, Meghan and MGK had apparently had a big fight and Meghan took her ring off, but then come Super Bowl weekend, they were very much back on. The same thing happened with Brian Austin Green, not the exact dates, but similar situation. Megan Fox had a pretty famous interview with the New York Times in 2009 in which she revealed that she had a fascination with the names of old Hollywood, revealing that she thinks Hollywood is filled with women who have tried to cope. I like to study them, I like to see how they've succeeded and how they've failed. It's interesting that she's done this as the trajectory of many famous actresses' lives have warned us how Megan's would play out as well. Megan had a fascination with Marilyn Monroe. For a long time, she even had a very detailed portrait of Marilyn tattooed on her arm. Megan and Marilyn share similarities as they were both placed on a pedestal in Hollywood as symbols of sensuality. Marilyn, famously and unfortunately, had a tough time in Hollywood. Megan has shared her own opinion on why she thinks that. During the 2009 interview with the New York Times, the interviewer and Megan were talking about celebrities' public personas not being the real them, but instead a character. How this can act as a defense mechanism for that person. About Marilyn, she said, Marilyn stumbled and lost her way. She became overwhelmed by the character she created. The two women's public personas are very similar, seductive, and not viewed as intelligent, put in places they were too young for. And then, as the years go on, it gets revealed that they were both a lot more troubled, sensitive, and insecure than anybody knew. With Megan, she just in recent years has started opening up about her body dysmorphia. Or also in Hollywood, we see a lot of the young, pretty girl put in situations she has no business being in at her age like I just mentioned. Brooke Shields notably has come out with her documentary, Pretty Baby Brooke Shields, about growing growing up as a pretty face in Hollywood. She and Meghan went through a lot of the same things, similar modeling campaigns. Fox was famously an extra in the movie Bad Boys 2, wearing a bikini in a club, dancing under a waterfall when she was three years shy of 18. And when Shields was also three years shy of 18, she filmed that controversial Calvin Jeans ad. While the two did not share similar paths later in life, Brooke's story was a sort of warning to Fox and us of how her beauty might be used in Hollywood. We we even see this with actresses that are still appearing on the silver screen. Angelina Jolie, an actress Megan Fox was compared to a lot at the beginning of her career. She was also considered a wild child for much of her youth. And what Angelina got to is so close to what we've seen from Megan too. Megan and MGK have wedding bands that hurt to remove, like they have something in them that if you try to take it off your finger, you will be hurt. Pretty intense show of love. Angelina is no stranger to this level of commitment. When she married Johnny Lee Miller in 1996, she did so wearing black leather pants and a t-shirt that she wrote Miller's name on in her blood. She told the New York Times, It's your husband. You're about to marry him. You can sacrifice a little to make it really special. Seems Megan and MGK have taken that sentiment to heart too. Angelina and Megan have both spoken out about being bisexual in a time when that wasn't received super well. Angelina wore a vial of now ex-husband's Billy Bob Thornton's blood around her neck. MGK also did that with Megan's, plus Megan and MGK made headlines in 2022 for casually mentioning they sometimes drink each other's blood strictly for ritual purposes. Angelina also went viral way back when for trying every substance out there, and I think we all remember Megan and MGK's I Am Weed first meeting story. These two are way more similar than we give them credit for. Those comparisons from the start of Megan's career were ahead of their time. Of course, Angelina is not known for this behavior anymore. Adopting her first child seems to have made her chill out a bit. She is now known for her generosity and philanthropy. Megan has also said that having her first child made her her switch to a more selfless persona, but we'll just have to see how closely she follows in Angelina's footsteps. We should have known that the relationship between Megan and M MGK would have so many odd twists, turns, and literal blood sacrifices. We all saw Jennifer's body. Amanda Seyfried praised the film and Megan's role in it, saying she had so much fun working on it and that it was even fun working very close to Megan in certain scenes. But the film is, after all, a horror film filled with campy sequences and demonic undertones. Of course Megan is going to put on a cult classic performance in a film like that. She, as we know now, has the same vibe in her real life relationships. Toned down of course, but it's pretty close. The entire film was about sustaining her life force by consuming boys, and she literally accepted MGK's 
boy's proposal by consuming part of him. Amanda Seyfried wasn't kidding when she said Megan did a good job portraying the title vampire-esque lead Jennifer. Megan, again, has recently warned us about her own personality. She owned up to her past romance mistakes in an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show, saying, When I was young, I was really rebellious and wild, and was always running away to fall in love with a new love. Every co-star. I was addicted to falling in love, and I think I probably hurt a lot of people in that process too, because a lot of people have been in love with me and I did not respect or honor that. However, she further went on to explain that once she had her kids, she felt more grounded and determined to be selfless for them. She really let us know the kind of person she was before age 20 though, sharing a story about how she painted a nasty quote on an ex-boyfriend's wall, so he had to repaint the whole thing. But it's been over 15 years since she's had her first kid and I think she's grown up a lot. I think we can all see that. She still made a lot of mistakes and done odd things, but she's also grown into a much better person. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great rest of your day. See you later. Bye.